Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today we're going to be playing some more Final Fantasy X. Um, I'm very sorry, apparently the sound alerts are still broken from last stream. I don't really know why they're broken. I reset up the whole thing just to try to make sure they would work, but they don't. Um, so I don't know what's up with that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, welcome, Koneko. Welcome, Kendra. Um, no worries, Koneko. No worries. It is okay just to be here for a little bit. That is fine. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, before we get started, I have to give a big thank you to our friend um, Kitty. So here we go. It says, one better time as foretold <laughs> from Kitty. Um, so for those of you guys that uh, that didn't know, I think I've talked about this a couple of times on stream, but I had a very long ethernet cord that went from the office here all the way across the house to where the router is. And um, so we had a big pile of a uh, pile of cord in a box on the floor that the kittens kept jumping in and, and playing in. <laughs> So um, she got from my wish list a shorter Ethernet cord that I've got set up now. So now there's not a pile of green spaghetti on the floor. So I'm very, very grateful for that. So thank you very much, Kitty, for uh, for handling that for me. I got it all put up. It's all set up. It's awesome. All right. You guys know also what I like to do is we like to start with a little quiz. So here we go. In light of us finishing up a bunch of things for the uh, Monster Arena today in Final Fantasy X, we're going to find out what tier of monster effort are you. It's too early in the stream for me to drop an F-bomb. Um, YouTube doesn't like that when you do that too early when I upload the VOD, so here we go. This is one we're going to do. I'll show you guys. Boom. Okay. So, constantly discussing with the homies about the tiers of monster effing. Are you going to be hardcore or just mid? Let's find out. All right. Let's see. I don't know what's going to be in this quiz. I did not click through it beforehand, so let's find out. Okay. So, choose one. Vampire, Hellboy, Pyramid Head, or Mothman. Um, I mean, I want to say Pyramid Head, but like vampires on here, and I have to go with my OG. Like, I have to go with my OG. I'm sorry, I know that's basic, but I'm basic, so vampire. If you had a vampire significant other, would you let them bite you? Are you kidding? Of course. What, what's the point of the vampire significant other if they're not gonna bite you? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Yes. Pick an aesthetic that matches how you would see yourself with your significant other. The warmth of holding hands, long car rides, your favorite song on the radio, sunbeams, long talks, the exhilaration of being in love, blankets, safety. Oh, that's nice. Uh, feet hitting the pavement, summer fruit, wondering how far you'll go, motels, back roads, mud on your shoes, the world at your fingertips, laughter, the joy of being present. Okay. The forest at night, the brush of tree bark against your fingertips, cigarettes, no cell service, or oh, dislike. Um, <laughs> the beauty of being with each other, the magic of surviving this long, broken down cars, autumn evenings, being the little spoon. Oh, why does this have to say no cell service? Otherwise, I'm into this. Uh, I think we're going to go with this one, even though it says no cell service, and I'm not into that part. And I just realized I didn't put on my cat ears, so I'm going to go. I'm going to grab my cat ears over here. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Jane! Jane, welcome into the stream. The last one was so on, I'd like to do another. Okay, well, you tell me, if you have a specific question, tell me what the question is. Um, otherwise, I will just pull one for you. We'll do it after the quiz before we start Final Fantasy X. Okay, what do you want in your monster relationship? An equal partner in all things, someone who sees eye to eye with me the most. Someone who adores me, who will always put my needs first. That's very appealing. Um, someone who is soft only for me. They would burn the world down before they let anyone hurt me. There we go. That's the one. That's the one, guys. That's the one. <laughs> uh, Koneko, I'm bottom tier probably because I'm one asexual and two a furry. Oh, well, uh, is furry not is furry not adjacent to monster fucking? I don't, I don't know. Okay, anyways. Choose one, weirder edition. Oh, yes, here we go. Okay. Oh, they didn't even name them. What's this guy? What's this guy in the corner here? I know all of these. This is the Barbados, Squid Face Man, Venom got the dragon what's this guy 
Top left or bust. <laughs> Jane, you would. Jane, you would. Okay, I don't know what this thing is. I don't know what this thing is. Um, but I'm going with the dragon, guys. I gotta go with my fantasy roots there. Okay. If you had a monster significant other and they had tentacles, are you fucking with those? Be honest. I would never put myself in the situation. Why are you taking this quiz if you would answer this? I don't understand. Um, um, well, I guess I'll try anything once. Bring it, bitch. We're, we're bringing it. We're bringing it. Okay, there we go. Follow-up question. Have you ever read fan fiction with tentacle porn? Maybe like once. I don't even need to read the rest of that. It's this answer. This is the answer. Okay. <laughs> How big is too big for a monster significant other? Anything above normal human heights. Oh, so I guess above normal is too big for them. Okay. Um, probably like nine foot or 10 foot, maybe bigger. Truly no size is too big. I will try my best to accommodate any size monster. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm so glad monsters don't exist. I'm so glad monsters don't exist. And this is all in my imagination. Okay, there we go. Um, would you fuck a biblically accurate angel? Sure. I'll do anything once. Why not try it? There we go. Would you fuck a dra- I chose the dragon. I chose the dragon. So, there we go. Top tier. We knew it to be true, but now I have been validated by the U-Quiz, guys. I've been validated by the U-Quiz, so. Twins. Let's see what it says. Oh gosh, this is too much. It's too it's too many curses all in a row. YouTube's not gonna like it, but we can just we can read it quietly together. Okay. I should have thought about this when I chose to do this for the quiz. You know, to do them at the beginning of the streams. I should have shouldn't have chose this, but I, I, I felt in my heart that we had to do it for this stream. Yep, all of this is true. All of this is true. You're a winner. I am a winner. Okay. Let's do um, Jane's tarot card before we do, before we switch over to Final Fantasy. Let me go get him. <clears throat> I'm knocking everything over in the process, guys. Get back in there. Sorry, Eevee pins. We're just going to have to set you back up later. Okay. Anyways. Here we go. Got the tarot. <clears throat> Question is, are things going to stay chill? Okay. Are things going to stay chill? Got it. I get my little handy dandy book. You can watch Lady try to destroy things in the background. She looks she looks like a like devious right now, I feel. <laughs> Are things going to stay chill? Well, this is only in this is only in Jane's world, right? We're just asking the tarot cards for Jane in particular, right? We know things aren't going to stay chill in the in the wider world, but right now we're focused on Jane. Oh, Koneko, I just saw your comment about your first sign up. Okay, I understand. I understand. That does feel uh, monster fucking adjacent to me, but not fully. It's like a different thing. I don't know. I'm telling you, Jane, the answer is no. Kendra, you don't know what the Kawaii Tarot deck is going to say. That's why we gotta ask it. Are things gonna stay chill for Jane? All right, guys, here we go. We're going to find out how things going to stay chill for Jane. Okay, so we've got an upside down wheel of fortune. Let's see what that means. Let's find out. What does a reversed wheel of fortune mean? I am so sorry, Jane. I think Kendra was correct. I was getting the vibes that Kendra was correct. And now that I'm looking at this, I, I think so. Uh, I'm just going to read the passage and then I'll tell you my full thoughts. Uh. Okay, so luck is not on your side, I don't think, Jane. And it's not just outside luck. I think you need to take some time to think about what decisions you've made recently. 
um, because either some decisions that you have made recently are going to create some negative situations for you, or at best, I think you might get a little bit of stagnation coming up. So um, if, if stagnation for you sounds chill, then um, sure, things will stay chill, but I don't I don't get the sense that this is positive stagnation. I don't get the sense that this is like, you know, nice coasting. I get the sense that this is like the frustrating stuck kind of stagnation. So I'm sorry, things aren't going to stay chill. Kendra was right. Or the tarot deck agrees with her anyway. So sorry. I wanted a different answer for you, but we didn't get one. Karen's got a good mom face. She's scaring me into acting better. <laughs> oh, Jane, don't be scared. You should just act better because you want to, okay? <clears throat> I mean, you should. She willed this. She willed this into being. Okay, guys. Hey, Lunar, how's it going? How's it going? All right. Let's play the game, y'all. Let's play the game. There we go. We've got the sound. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad, Lunar. Okay, so what we're actually going to start out with, we're going to start out with a nice, friendly Blitzball game, like we like to do. It's been a second, been an episode since we played it. It's been a while since we played Final Fantasy X in general. But we're going to do, we're going to do this, uh, do a league game. We need to get that tournament to pop back up again so we can try to get the attack reels, but, um, let's play a league game so that we can, uh, try to get that to pop up. Yes, let's proceed. Wrapping things up for the RP wedding on Saturday. Oh, that's so cool. Y'all, if you have not seen, um, Lunar has this beautiful, like, aesthetic document for what she's doing with her character's RP wedding. It's posted in the, in the Discord. You should go check it out, because it looks amazing. Um, let's do Venom Shot. Waka. Oh, he can get Spear Shot. We need that. Anti-Wither? Sure, that sounds good. Nado, what about you? Wither Shot? No, he doesn't really need Shots. Oh, Drain Tackle, that's better. Alright, Jossu, what can you get? Drain Tackle as well. Let's get, we try to get him Nap Tackle. Alright. Yuma? Um, Spin Ball. Sure, why not? Proceed! I can hear the kittens, like, messing with stuff, and I don't know what they're messing with. I think they're in the closet, like, destroying things, or <laughs> Oreo is anyway. <laughs> Lady's actually on the bed. If y'all want kitten cam, it'll be ladies in frame for that. I think Oreo's away destroying things. Oh, oops. I didn't mean to run smack into you guys. My bad. All right, let's Venom Pass over to Titus. Pretty shy. I'm, I'm, hope, I'm hoping that where I am with Blitzball now, I am doing good enough where I can just kind of like wreck everybody. Because I finally can win against the Luka Goers, so I think then I'm, I'm doing well enough. But, um, you know, we'll find out. So we don't need to break, I don't think. Let's, uh, let's do a Jack shot. So that will be our break. Because she was pretty strong. She was pretty strong looking. Yeah, yeah, Kendra, it is so pretty. That cake. Man, that crepe cake, I want it so bad. <laughs> I love pictures of crepe cake. I want it in real life. I've thought a couple of times about trying to make a crepe cake, but that sounds like super involved to make that many crepes and stack them up. You know, I just don't have that much dedication to do all that. So I've never attempted, but I have like these thoughts in my head, this this imagination of, of me creating a crepe cake. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the biddies, Brie. How's it going? Happy Friday Eve. Man, not a single one of you got that from Gosna. Jeez. Brain. <laughs> Y'all crack me up with that. Did you see her hair? No! Um. No, I did not. She posted the picture of her hair. Oh, thank you for the howl, Lunar. For some reason, only those ones that are um, bits are, uh, are working, and the, the other ones are not. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, let's Venom Tackle. There we go. Good job, Nada, good job. 
And she fast. Okay. Mm, no break. Just pass. Just pass to Waka. Those emojis are so cute, Lunar. Those are your emojis, right? From, from your stream? Yeah, no break, just shoot. We'll do a venom shot, that's fine. Get it, Waka, get it. Good job. I'm dusting everything off to start streaming again. Oh! Oh, what are you gonna be streaming, Lunar? Oh my gosh, I just pulled up the picture of Bree's hair. Bree, you look absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. That looks so good. Oh, they did such a good job. They did such a good job on your hair. Okay, I have to actually close Discord now. I meant to close it before the stream started, but I didn't do it. It takes up a lot of resources in the computer for some reason. It's very strange. Yeah, what are you gonna stream when you um when you come back, Lunar? What's your your new debut gonna be? Indie games and indie horror games like FNAF. I have a huge comeback stream plan. Oh my god! Oh, I'm so excited. You'll have to tell me when it is. You have to tell me when it is so I can, um, be there. Good job, Nada. Nada got the good tackling. Okay. No break, just, um, pass to Waka. And I love watching people play horror games because I cannot play them myself. <laughs> it is not in me, you know what I mean? So. Hey, kitties. Leave them lights alone. Good job, Waka. Blitz off. I can't even watch horror games. Oh, only watch theory videos and Easter eggs. I'm sorry, Koneko. I don't have any problem with um with watching horror games or movies or reading horror books or anything like that. It's literally just like playing horror games. Something about like when I have to control the avatar and make the decisions myself, it just like totally wrecks me. I can't do it. I get so scared and so upset. But the Ronto swims so slow. They're eating lights again, guys. <sighs> I don't give them the box of cords to play with and they want to eat lights. It's ridiculous. It's more so I can't handle jump scares because they frustrate me. Oh yeah, yeah, I really can't handle jump scares very well either. Um, really much of, yeah, much of anything, but jump scares especially really wreck me. Uh, you can have it, Titus. I love The Last of Us, but damn, those clickers essentially zombies really get me. Sometimes it freaks me out. I have to turn it off. It's an amazing game. Yeah, Last of Us is a really, really good game. I've not played much of it myself. I've watched playthroughs and I've played the beginning of it, but um, I've not played a whole lot to like have full comments, but I have liked what I see. You know what I mean? As I can tell it's a really good game. All right. Second verse, same as the first. Let's go, guys. Oh, I don't want to change any of that. I'm good there. Oh, they all changed. Okay, well I guess we can do nap tackle. What do we want to give Rin? Spin ball, I guess. Mm, yeah, that's good. Do I still want to do, do drain tackle? And Yuma, yeah, Yuma can have spin ball. Okay, that's all good. That's all good. I'll get spooked by the phantoms in the ocean temple in Phantom Hourglass, so I'm not allowed to talk. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Koneko. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think that my weeniness about horror games compares to yours. I think you take the title. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that happens to you. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, games that are not necessarily horror games that definitely have scary parts that, um, that I'm so sad that you have to miss out on, but you know. Everyone has their limits, right? Not everyone can handle everything. <clears throat> that is true, Jane. That is true. <laughs> um, changing to Lunar Eclipse. Uh, I think it's good. Yeah, Lunar Eclipse is good. I don't... 
why changing it from Lunar Daydream, though? Like, is there something, does something, like, spark that change? Like, does something happen, or is it just, like, you feel like you need a new name? I don't know, sometimes I feel like that online, especially. Like, oh, time to change the name, I feel like changing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep, you do have to sneak past those phantoms in that game. That's a good one, though. That's a good, a good game. What's up, lady? You want to block the screen for me? Good job, kitty cat. Good job blocking that screen. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> She's sniffing my dessert. I have not started eating it yet, but I brought my dessert in here. Um, can y'all guess what it is? What I have for dessert today? <laughs> it's a good one. Y'all see the top of her ears? <laughs> she is. She is like pawing. She's pawing at the at the screen. <laughs> Lady, I can't see what's happening. I'm kind of guessing and just choosing. Luckily, it's Blitzball in Final Fantasy X, so I don't really need to see that much. <laughs> this cat, y'all. She's ridiculous. Why don't you, like, go play or something? Oh, good job, Jesu. I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna hold left and uh, hope I don't run into anybody. Hey, lady, that's the camera? Excuse you. Oh, he only has three shots. Don't push buttons on the keyboard. Come on now. All right, go down there. She started pushing buttons on the keyboard. Let's see. Oh, I can't even break. This isn't gonna work. He only has three shot. We're gonna have to pass. We're gonna have to pass. Uh, give it to Waka, my friend. The horror aspect. Daydream doesn't a fit, but Eclipse. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, if you're going to be focused on horror games, Lunar Eclipse makes way more sense. Lady wants to be the Blitzball champ. <laughs> she can't... Lady, you can be whatever you want to be. I mean, this cat girl is, is doing it, living her dreams. You can be just like just like her. Ir Irga, it looks like her name is. You can be just like Irga. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the subscription, Irony. Oh, is the text not... Is it not doing voice to text? It's supposed to. Anyways, I'll read it out then. Riddle me this, liberals. Why should I wipe my ass if I'm gonna shit later? Checkmate. It's a good question, Irony. It's a good question. Liberals, answer for that. <laughs> What's up, Irony? How's it going? I'm sorry I didn't do the text to speech. Something's up with the way my sounds are set up. I don't really know what's going on. I'm waiting. Good God, dog. The animals are just, the animals are crazy today. No, you can come in here and you just knock through with a light, it's fine. But come on. Come on. Come on if you want to come in. I can't just leave it open. I'm too noisy. Okay, I guess you don't want to come in. Oh my god, y'all. <sighs> Jane! Oh my god, Jane, that's too gross. That's too gross. <laughs> I'm in VC for D&D, &D, so I can't stay in chat, but I'll be lurking. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate the lurk. We love all of our lurkers here. Um, have fun in your D&D &D game. I hope I hope you win. Nat 20s for irony. Okay, then I'm tapping. Let me disturb the whole household. And she pushed it open again. They just can't handle it. They just can't handle it. Oh my god. Yes, my min max rogue always wins, but not her friends. Oh. <laughs> well, Irony, you'll just have to carry the team, I guess. You'll just have to carry the team. Can't sleep without the W. Well, Eliza always lets us win. So for you guys that don't know, um, Kendra is our is a DM for the uh, Dungeons and Dragons game that I'm in and so we get Eliza in the background and we're always like oh my gosh thank you so much um who is that uh Brie so thank you so much Brie and um oh no Mrs. Kitty oh Kitty did it okay sorry I read that backwards thank you so much Kitty Brie you have a sub now and Hercules does as well I don't think he's actually in the chat but maybe he'll stop by um since he has a sub now okay let's pass yeah, so Eliza will will ask Eliza, um, did, did we win? And Eliza will tell us that we won. So.
Oh no, it says Bree is paying forward the gift they got from Kitty. They changed they changed all these things. Um, they changed all these things, so it like reads differently now and I got confused. Okay, I was right the first time. Thank you, Bree. <laughs> I can mend this now. Thank you, Bree. Hercules now has a sub. <laughs> My gosh. Mr. Jane asks, are you winning all the time when he comes in the room and I'm RPing? Well, you tell him yes, right? <laughs> Thank you, Irony. Thank you for stopping by, and thank you for the lurk. Alright, guys. Yeah, Blitzball against the Ronso is really easy now, so that's nice. That's really nice, because we've got a lot more Blitzball to win. If we're going to be the very best, like no one ever was. Leak season over. Congratulations, the Visayed Orox and Nintendo season at number one. Please accept this prize. A Mega Elixir. Fabulous. Titus is the top scorer. Rename card. The Sage Aurox current team level is 2. Number of wins, 9. Um, do we want to renew Keepa? Yeah, we, we need a backup fully. We'll go ahead and renew him. Yes, that's fine. Um, we're going to go back. Okay, and then let's save. Yes, new save data. Alright. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek here. Okay, it's not popped up for the tournament yet, but we've had another league. Okay. All right, all right, all right, guys. Um, let's look at who we've got. We've got Orin, Titus, and Kimari right now. All right, so let's do some monster hunting. Let's go back down here into the Cavern of Stolen Faith and do some monster hunting in this area. There we go. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> you forgot what yours was. Yours is a good one. Yours is a really good one, Bree. <laughs> All right. So that's an epage. Fabulous. All right. All right. Die, epage. Oh, I didn't quite die. I wish. Hua. <laughs> I was thinking of redeeming another and making it a heartfelt message to my friends. Aw, Jane, you're so sweet. You can totally do that. You can redeem as many as you want, Jane. We'll make we'll make so many um, commands for you. Okay, I'm gonna start on my dessert that I have right See here. See ya. See ya. I have a beautiful slice of, of key lime pie. So that's what I have that I'm gonna snack on a little bit during the stream. We ordered takeout from a restaurant that we've not ordered from before, and it actually was really, really bad. Like, really terribly, horribly bad. Disgusting. Um, I was so sad. I got a chicken sandwich, fried chicken sandwich, and the chicken was super burnt. So, um, I'm glad I got the key lime pie, because then at least I have something to eat. Because <laughs> I pretty much just ate my french fries from, um, the sandwich that I got. The sandwich was really bad. Um... You were so close to pie and didn't even flinch. Well, Jane, <laughs> I had to entertain you guys. You understand. <laughs> you guys needed my attention first. Okay, so here's another imp and epage. So... There we go. Uh, let's bring Titus back in here. Miss oh no, me? let's let's get Walker for that imp. No worries. There we go. Well, even though that restaurant wasn't very good, at least the key lime pie didn't suck. It's good. But I'm sure they didn't make it. I'm sure they bought it from somewhere. So, you know. Wait, wait, when did the stream start? 6.30? Stream started about 30 minutes ago. We've been going for 34 minutes at this point. Oh, this is the last of these guys that we need. So we are all done with the Yowies. I'm not done with the Yowie in my heart, but I'm done with these ones. We have capture limit reached. Fabulous. Alright, I don't think Orin's fast enough to kill it. Not even look at it or leave him. No sweat. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I told you, you guys were keeping me busy. I was busy entertaining you guys. Alright. Um, Yuna, come give us some healies. 
We got ouchies. There we go. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna run around in this room, because Tonberry should spawn in this second room here. And we need lots more Tonberries. Say your prayers! Oh, I don't need I don't need defenders. Um Bye. Live. Awesome, still got time to go then. I thought I was coming in at the end, but I'm glad I'm not. Yeah, yeah, no. You're not coming in at the end. Um we go 6.30 to 8.30 on Thursdays. So, we have lots more stream left. There we go, there's a ton, Mary. Uh-oh, Karma. Sucking inspiration from Karen. What do you- what do you mean? What does that mean, Kendra? You can't have my inspiration. I need it. For creative things. How am I gonna do things without my inspiration? Let them come. Oh, Kendra means as a streamer? Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. I guess you can have some for that. Alright, let's bring Walker back to life. Yeah, Kendra, um... It is if for y'all that don't know, uh, Kendra is a streamer now. She actually did her first stream the other day and really enjoyed it and thinks she's probably gonna do more. So we gave her a little spot in the cafe so that she can do that. No no lady, you can't have you can't have pie. Um and also, uh you guys should go follow her if you have not. Can one of the mods do an exclamation SO a shout out uh, for Kendra. Her um, stream name is Drow Feels, D R O W F E E L S. So, um, if somebody could do a shout out for her, and everybody that's not following her, go follow oh, her now. Phew. Kendra, you can do one yourself, your mod. You or Jane, I think, in here can do one. Obri can do one too. Somebody do it! Exclamation S O Drow Feels. And then everybody click it and go follow. Come on, more Tom Berries. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Everyone go follow Kendra. Okay. Oh, it's a ghost. So he needs... So fire and water are good for him. Okay, well that's good, because I have Titus and Walka. Um... Well, we can do his overdrive. Let's do his overdrive. He needs to use his overdrive more to get his others anyway, so why not? You should be able to, you're a mod. Maybe it's just because, um, we just did a shout out, and so it's not gonna post it twice. But, um, but Jane, you definitely should be able to do that. Alright, so we need some more firepower up in here. What about Riku? Maybe we can. Mug? What is Ghost Hat? Phoenix Downs. Okay. Oh no, don't doom him. We're gonna kill him way before that doom goes off, so it's no problem. Take that. Goodbye! Ghost captured. Shout out again after we cool down. Yes, thank you, Jane. I don't know, I made a bunch of people mods a while ago. Um, just people that I knew I trusted that came to the streams a lot. And I, I just needed I needed some more, I realized, because there were definitely streams where I had like no mods hanging out. So I made a whole bunch of people mods. Kind of at random. <laughs> of just out of the people right that, that I trusted and that were frequently in the stream. Cause why not? I mean, I'm pretty small, so we never really need much, you know what I mean? Like, it's pretty much just... Like, whenever somebody comes in asking if I want to be famous, banning them. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, doing shoutouts. I'll be right back! Alright, I don't need any of these. I need more ghosts and tonberries, though. I th maybe I have to go farther back for the Valahas, because I need a bunch of those as well. Oh no! There's one right now. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. So fire does half damage, so... Uh, let's bring in Orin to try to kill that guy. Let's 
Let's see. Mm, let's power break him. I'm gonna hop off sleepy time now. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me before bed, Koneko. I appreciate you so much, and um, have a good sleep. Have a good sleep. Oh, I need to mark these off my list. And then they posh. Okay. Nai nai. Jane, whenever you type that, it sounds so cute in my head. <laughs> You're already famous to in my roll. heart. Well, thank you, Bree. Maybe someday I'll be famous in everyone's hearts. Probably not. I don't think I'd actually want that. It sounds like it's horrible if Britney Spears has taught me anything. And I want to watch that documentary I, so easy I think next they, time. they made one on what's going on with her. Or I could have sworn I saw somebody post that the one existed now or something like that. Because what's happening to her is absolutely tragic. Can I one-handed get a bite? Got it. Haha. -ha. Let them come. All right, it's water and fire again. My turn now. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Okay. I thought I had seen something like that. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. I'm very practiced at my pie skills. And my cake skills, and really oh, all my dessert eating skills. Nope, they were already all the way healed. Okay, that's fine. I need one of them to be like, lightning is their main thing. So that we can have yeah. Orin wrecking it. Told ya. I get to get set up on the treadmill so I can hear, but I ain't here. You see, I see. <laughs> Jane, it cracks me up that you like will RP and watch streams and do all these things while on your treadmill. I, f I find it just in incredibly like fascinating. I would never. <laughs> I mean, I'd never get on a treadmill, but I just don't know how you could like watch something while bouncing up and down like that. Maybe I don't run so right or something. I don't even know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but that's my take. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, switch back to Riku. There. No, I, I don't want Riku. Because she'll go first over Titus, and I want Titus to go first. We can run away if we want to. Put Orin in there. He's slow. He's a slow boy. <clears throat> live and let live. All right, so where we are, we need one one apage. We need two dark elementals. We need eight Valahas. We need six ghosts and seven Tonberries. And this is the Tonberry area. So really, what I'm looking for in this little room is the seven Tonberries. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm not much of a runner, but the times that I have done some running, it's just hard for me to imagine doing a lot of other activities at the same time. I don't know, it's just like, I, will go so uh, easy on I, the next I don't time. think I could focus, like my eyes, I don't think I could focus my eyes. It would have to be like a big TV far away, you know, and then maybe I could watch like a TV show or a movie or something, you know what I mean? I could definitely listen, like I could definitely listen to podcasts, but um... But like anything that would involve, you know, reading or paying a lot of attention, I could not do. All right, here's another Tom Berry. That's great. Rude. Rude again. Okay, let's get Yuna in here. Bring them back. I like do the run run. Is that like a, a, a runner thing? <laughs> I can't even walk in text. I don't know how you do it, Jane. Yeah, that's like how I feel, Brie. I'm like too bouncy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Jane's new name is Run Run. Yeah, exclamation Jane 2 is Run Run. <laughs> Eight. 
How much HP? Come on, can you kill it? There we go. Good job, Titus. Thank you, everyone. Too bad Waka dead, so he don't get no XP. That's okay though. That is okay. Um, let's see. Abilities. Come on, Waka. There we go. We're back. I can post a picture of my rig. Yeah, post it. I want to see. I want to see this rig. I'll be right back. Because, like, in my mind, it's like, I don't know, like a regular treadmill. I don't know. It, uh, it doesn't compute to me. <laughs> Alright, there's another Tonberry. That's awesome. They're so annoying with this dang karma. Stop inflicting karma on me. I'm just trying to kill you. It's rude. I never did anything to you, but, like, try to get you. I just want to capture you from my menagerie. But instead, I have to keep bringing Titus back to life. Booyah! Booyah! Okay. Piece of cake! Halfway through with those. We need five more. This thing. We definitely don't need that. Can't capture it. Nope. nope. There we go. I wish there was a mechanic in this game to, like, make specific encounters more likely or things like that for this monster hunting. <laughs> that would be really nice. That would probably be kind of broken, though. Alright. That's the last epage we need. Right there. And then we need... We still need several more of these Valahas. Alright, come on, Oren. I posted in the media in the cafe. Okay, I will take a look. My phone's right there. Okay. I was like, do I have my phone to actually look at it? I thought for a second. I have a standing desk made out of old kitchen floorboards and two rusty nails. Oh. Well, isn't your, um, doesn't your husband, like, make things for you? Like, isn't, isn't that, like, a fun fact you shared before? Like, he'll, um... He'll make, uh, like, build things for you. Alright, let's see. Oh! Oh, I see! Jane, this is fancy. It's like, it's like Cottage Cortec or something. It's really cool. <laughs> that's really neat. Made most of our furniture. Yeah, that's what you had told us before. I love that. Everybody needs a talent, you know what I mean? That's a really useful one. Definitely not meant to be cute. <laughs> but I run run. Uh, I'll be right back. I think I just don't get it because I'm just not somebody that ever got used to like exercise or things like that, so you know. It doesn't call to me <laughs> as something fun to do. Live and let live. No, I understand if you get used to exercising, it becomes like a really fun thing, and you like really want to do it, and it's awesome and feels great. But you have to do it for a while for that to start happening. So, you know, <laughs> I have uh, I have not reached that sort of thing. I won't go so easy on you next time. Come, Tonberries, come to me. I only want to capture you. I wish it would stop coming up with these magic pots. They are so useless. I'll be right back. It's just too hard to get the items, and the items that you get from them aren't that great. It's like super random. Live and let live! Alright, so just to look back at what we need still, we need two Dark Elements, seven Valahas, six Ghosts, and five Tonberries. But instead, we keep getting 
He's dumb. Things. Even let live. I need to move to a slightly different area to try to get something different to happen. Although I feel like that second room is like the magic place for ton berries, but we'll, we'll go over here a little bit. We just can't go super far because we will trigger the dark um, Yojimbo <laughs> that we almost got wrecked by last I'll be right back. time. But luckily we were able to escape and we, they did not make us do the fight. <laughs> but we almost did. We almost did. It was scary. Yeah. Live and let live. Definitely smash or pass on these uh, these pots. I have to go with pass. They are just so annoying, and all they want to do is blow up in your face. Very disrespectful. Un dislike, you know, dislike. I'll be right back. And they try to like give you gifts, but it's gifts you don't want. You know, they're super rude. Hey, Ree, what's up? You're back. Oh, here's another Valaha. We need that. And I guess we'll kill the Ipaj, too. Alright. Let's do a power break. Take that. Okay, yep, yeah, capture limit reached. Awesome, so we know we're done with those guys. So I think when we make it, when we, when we do more Blitzball, next stream probably, when we do more Blitzball, um, hopefully we can get those attack reels to pop up, like, I'll try to make sure in between streams that I do what needs to be done to make that pop up so we can try to get the attack reels. We're definitely going to get it this time because I'm just I'm just going to save scum. I'm just going to save scum to make it happen. You know what I mean? Because we kept failing. We kept trying and failing over and over. So I think that's what we're going to end up doing to make that happen so that you guys do not have to just watch, you know, any more losing blitz blocks. I would hate to get to the very end of the, uh, of the tournament and, uh, lose that game and then we have to repeat the entire tournament over again so we're just gonna save scum to avoid that oh okay we got a ghost let's see what his thing is okay so he is only he only is gonna be hurt by fire and half damage from water well that is very rude of him I guess we'll still My use turn now. and walk it definitely Waka can do some damage to him, but Orin's not going to do any damage. Well, I guess Riku can mug. Oh, they take so long to kill if they have the wrong elemental combination. I think I'll just regular attack. Even though she won't do much damage, it's still some. And then Waka, go ahead and kill him. Good job. Alright, so we're down to five ghosts and five tonberries that we need. And then the other areas, um, the other area that we still need to capture from is Mount Gagazet. So we've got, you know, the captures in here, and then we've got the captures in Mount Gagazet. And then that will be all the Talk captures from the areas. <laughs> That's funny. And then that will be all the captures from the areas that we've actually seen in the game. The other, there are two additional areas of uh, places so that we need to time. capture monsters. But both of those areas I have not shown you guys yet. We've not seen them. We've not gone to them. So basically it's this area and Mount Gagazet. And then we'll have done all the captures in, in you know, what we know of so far of this game. Live and let live! That's right, Titus. Live and let live. It's not because I don't want it to blow up in my face and get a game over. 
Oh, oh hi, Ash. Apparently, Ash has been under the, the bed this whole time and was just chased out now by the kittens. <sighs> oh, a remedy, okay. Live and let Don't live. Need those. Yeah, unfortunately, it's to the point where the things that we need are all the rare spawns. We've gotten, we've gotten the common spawns. We're good to go with those. I might switch up rooms and, you know, go somewhere else just to get a little, a little change of scenery. The live and let live needs an uwu at the end. It does. Live and let live. Uwu. <laughs> uh. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's totally t Titus being like a weenie wuss, for sure. <laughs> well, <laughs> Titus kind of embodies that in some ways. But it's great, because wouldn't you too if you'd been through what he'd been through? Oh, there's another Tonberry. Finally. What can I steal from them? Oh, that's it. Hmm. Alright. What's overdrive? Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> I kept screwing up the timing over and over. I was in a timing messed up loop. There we go. Goodbye, Tom Barry. Oh. New overdrive mode for Waka. Good job. I don't know, Titus. I don't think the Tomberries are that easy since a lot of times their karma kills you. It just didn't happen to this time. Oh, there's another one. Wow. Lucky. Yuna, bring him back. I'm here. Thanks, Yuna. You're always there for me. I appreciate that so much. I think we need three more Tonberries. Live and let live! Stop giving me these guys. Oh my gosh. And then he had to kill my Fleer. That won't go so go. easy on you next time. So has anybody um, tried watching that Squid Game show that's apparently, like, breaking all kinds of crazy I records so and everyone is watching it, supposedly? Because I started watching it. <laughs> and um, we haven't finished it yet, so if you finished it, don't give me any spoilers or anything. But uh, I was pretty... I was pre I've been pretty impressed so far. It's, it's real good. It's... I don't know if it's, like as good as everyone's saying that it is, but it's not bad. I'm really enjoying it. 
Um, it's it, there's parts that are very gory, like a bit too much for me. But um, but there's still a lot of parts of it that I really really like. Oh no, <laughs> not for you, Kendra. <laughs> um, like all of the characters are really well rounded and fleshed out, which I really appreciate. Uh, they all have like clear motivations for why they're joining these weird games. Um, and then a lot of this takes place in this weird like pastel child colored mc escher house and so every time they have to walk through the house it's like just this these beautiful visuals that go by as they're as they're kind of like marching through the weird mc escher house and uh and i really love that part <laughs> uh so if you can find if, if the show is not for you but you can find a clip of just like them walking through the house so you can see what I'm saying. I, I highly recommend, uh, you know, taking a look at that because it just looks absolutely gorgeous the way it's shot. It was very, very impressive. Yes, I know. Capture limit reached. All right, come on, Orin. Let's wreck this Valaha. Mm, we want power break. Yeah. Oh no, don't die, Titus. Uh, let's bring him back. Uh, all right. All right, Yuna. But yeah, I don't want to give away too much of it if you haven't seen it, but um if you like horror, definitely watch it. If you don't like horror, I would still recommend giving it a try and see if it's something you can get into. Um, because it's very, very good. Ah, uh, no, there are more of these. I'll be right back. A worker talked to me about it today. Oh, really, Jane? What did they say? Did they like it? Were they, were they recommending it to you? Don't touch his judgment, but I believe for Karen, so... <laughs> well, you know, Jane, um, bad people can still like good things, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I'm conflicted. Yeah, he was hype about it. Yeah, I don't know if it's, like, super hype. Like, mansplained to me what dubbing was. No! Jane, he didn't! Tell me, tell me, Psyche. He did not. Ugh. I didn't even realize there was a dubbed version, to be honest. We've been watching it subtitled. So, I don't know if there's a dub. I don't, I can't comment on the, uh, on how good or bad the dub might be because we have been watching the subtitled version. I don't know if I'd want to watch any kind of dub for live action because the lips would be like so out of sync. I would think subtitles makes way more sense, you know? Or you would- oh. <laughs> so he wasn't even right? What a fool- what, what did he say about it? Like, I don't know. I haven't watched the dub. I'm not even aware of one. Like, but that doesn't mean that one doesn't exist. It's just not how we watched it, you know? Maybe there is a dub, and we just didn't click those options. Oh no, she's out of MP. Um, do I have... yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, now... Life... Waka. He explained that it was dubbed, and then proceeded to explain the correct definition of dub, so I don't know. Well, maybe a dub exists, and I just didn't watch it that way? I, I don't... I don't know. Thank you, everyone. It makes me want to go look and see what the dub is like. But I guess the only thing about- the only point about it that I wanted to make is like, you know, Hollywood constantly takes um, movies and shows and things that are- that are foreign and remakes them. And it's always a bit like, to me, like, why are they remaking it? Oh, we do- we need all of these. We need some Nidhogg, and we need both of those Dark Elementals. Okay. Um, you know, when the original version is is fine, and, and they try to- I feel like Hollywood tries to claim that, um, 
uh, that uh, audiences will reject, um, you know, foreign films and things like that, and uh, and so they have to remake them for an American audience. And I think this kind of proves, in a way, that that is like that's not true, because <laughs> everyone apparently freaking loves Squid Game, and um, and it, it's good. Like I, there, it's not like, but it, I don't think it's like the most amazing thing I've ever seen. But I can wish. totally see why it's popular right now is like a horror TV show releasing right when everyone's kind of getting into the Halloween spirit and um and 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 it's got good characters. So and it's got really interesting visuals. So yeah. <laughs> That's the point that I think is interesting about it, is it just it proves that the whole like Hollywood thinking that they can't market foreign stuff here is like wrong and ridiculous. While I'm parked, I'm saying smash the dragon thing past the purple orbs. Agree 100%. Smash on the dragon. The squiggly... The squi these, the design, the squiggly design of these, all of them. No. <laughs> uh, they're okay. Not that into it. Of the, like, squiggly elementally things, though, these dark elemental ones are the best ones. I will say that. Alright, so we're now down to just needing Valaha, Ghosts, and Tonberries out of here. I feel like a ton of people are fine with subtitles at this point, give us good foreign media. Yeah, I agree. I don't really think people have a problem with watching subtitle stuff or watching, you know, dubbed stuff. I, I think you can just import, you know, their product. You don't have to make a new one. And I think the Squid Game is a, a good proof of concept of that. You know, people like stories that are good. I don't think they really care where the story came from. You know what I mean? Like, does that... Basically, that's the take. <laughs> that's the take. Uh, so, yeah. Alright. Uh, oh, I remember why I was running back. I was gonna save. Because Yuna was so low on MP, so I feel like we could do a, a refresh on that. So go back to the beginning where the save point is. Yeah, I'm hard of hearing, so I always have captions or subtitles. Yeah. Um, I've gotten kind of used to having captions on to the point that a lot of times I'll, I'll turn them on just because it, it helps me focus and make sure I don't miss what people are saying. Um, even though I'm not like hard of hearing or anything like that, um, you know, some people don't enunciate super well. And uh, and so it's just, I don't ha I never have a moment, if I have the subtitles on, I never have a moment of like, wait, did they say this or did they say this other thing? You know, so I just find it way easier, you know? Oh, I didn't mean to make new save data. Whatever. I meant to save over my save just from just a little bit ago. Okay, everybody's refreshed now. Let's go back in. We need two more Tonberries, I think. Oh, there's another Imp. We do need one of those. Bad zaps. Bad zaps. I definitely use it to focus too. Yeah, it just it's I find it super helpful for for keeping me focused on what they're saying, on on what I'm watching, you know. Maybe it's just like my my desire to be multitasking. So it it, it allows me to like multitask while I'm watching the thing, you know what I mean? Oh no, a peely just popped off. Oh well, I'll have to fix that later. I lost I lost one. Here, I pulled it off. Oh, naked nail. So sad. <sighs> I need- I usually do new- new manicures on Friday mornings anyways, so we'll just do that. Just do a new manicure tomorrow morning. Alright, come here, Titus. Let's kill this Apache. Why not? It's in our face. I read it's an ADHD thing to focus- to focus better with them. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I don't think I have anything like that. I've never been diagnosed anything like that. But, like, you know, who the hell knows? <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I have developed such a thing as an adult. 
Um, I definitely, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to focus. You know, it's hard to have 100% all, all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? I think that's, I think that's like, you know, true for most anybody. Okay, we do need one more Nidhogg, but we don't need those Epages. So I think what we're going to do is, or sorry, we don't need those uh, dark elementals anymore. So I think what we're going to do is just kill the Nidhogg and then flee. So we don't have to kill those um, elementals too. All right, so that's all of those. And then we'll just run away. So easy on you next time. Next time. All right, so that, that's a monster that you find in Gagazette. So when we go up to Gagazette and start working on that area too, we'll be done with those guys. So I think hopefully if, we, if the spawns for the Tomberries and, and ghosts continue like they have been, I, I think we should at least finish Cavern of Stolen Fates before the end of the stream and get started on Gagazette. I hope anyway, I hope, I hope. Yeah, there's another Tonberry. Oh, let's do that. Yeah, I think we only need one more Tomberry after this. Enough. We might get one one additional one. Two more just to buffer it, you know, make sure. Make surely sure that I've got enough. And I think I need to go a little farther in to find more ghosts and Balahas. Oh, well there's one. Come Waka. Sit back and watch. Okay. Oh, rude. Uh, all right. All right, what? You know, we need you to life him. Life your boyfriend. All right, there's another one of those. And then we can flee. I won't go so easy on you next time. I think we're going to get down to where we just need ghosts. And I wonder if I teleport to the back, where I think there's going to be more, and then I'm just very, very careful about where I run <laughs> to not trigger the Dark Yojimbo. <laughs> I wonder if that could work. That's kind of risky, though. I'm not sure about that. That might be a bad idea. <laughs> it might be a little too much. I won't go so easy on you next time. It will. Is that good for you, Kendra? If I do that. After he says the line. <laughs> I'll be right back. Don't worry, Malbro, he's coming back. He's never coming back, y'all. Stop waiting for him. He went to the store and he's never coming back. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh. Stop with these. I will go so easy on you next time. So you say, Titus, so you say. Let's try running around the middle instead of the outer edge of this room. Nope. <laughs> that did not change my results. <laughs> I'll be right back. Sure you will. Alright. Well let's go up here. Let's see if we can do get some ghosts. Nobody likes these pots. I don't know. I don't know why they're such a high spawn rate. I won't go so easy on you next time. Mm. 
Mm, well, at least there's an imp. We do need that. Let's get Riku to come dismantle this guy. You're back, Ree. I don't know what, she keeps like leaving the room and coming back. I don't know what's up with that. All right, so that's enough imps. And then let's get Titus back and run away. I won't go so easy on you next time. I'll kill the imp because I just want to make sure that I got enough of those. I think I did. Yep, okay. We're good on that. I won't go so easy on you next time. Okie dokie. We're gonna go a little a little deeper into the Oh, there's another Valaha. We do need that. Uh, come here, Orin. Wreck it. Okay, I think we're gonna get to where it's ghosts that we're looking for so much, not Tonberries. I feel like when I've done this place before, it's like Tonberries are the last one, but... For whatever is going on with this particular save, this particular game, it's going to be the ghosts. I definitely don't need more of these guys. I won't go so easy on you next time. Bye bye, bye, yowies. All right. Oh, there's another Valaha. That's good. have to just google like what part of the cavern of stolen faith the ghosts are in most because these enemies typically have like areas that they're in the Living most you know i might have to do that okay i think that's about as far as we can go in the cave without triggering the dark yojimbo fight I don't want to do that i'm definitely not ready it he will kill me <laughs> so i guess we're going back Oh, there's another ghost. Just what I ordered. Thank you. Oh, we gotta get one of the ladies out here to see what he is. Okay, so he's just ice, but not water. Okay, well, come on, Kamari. Mm, yeah, we can still do that. I don't think, I don't, I think he's immune to all the breaks and stuff. So. I don't know. I don't know what's up with the animals. Usually, like at this time of night, they start to, you know, relax and like not want to go in in out the room the whole time. But today is not that day. They are being super active. I don't know why. All right. So that's another ghost. I'm on a roll. We are so on a roll, Waka. That's right. Oh, don't need any of that. Oh, uh, thank you, Luna, for the posture check. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, and the hydrate. I do need that. Live and let live! <clears throat> All right, there we go. Okay, so I have to tell you guys. I have to tell you guys about our October tradition. Every October, we watch one movie every evening, one horror movie, right? And we have to watch a movie every single day, horror movie every single day in October, so we don't invoke 
the Halloween curse. So they don't have to be like scary movies. I mean, they, they can be, but they have to be like Halloween-y type of movies. Like I'll give you an example. Last year, one of the movies we watched was Beetlejuice. Like that's obviously not like really a horror movie. It's not scary in any way, but it definitely has a Halloween aesthetic. So it's gotta be like a horror movie or a movie that's like Halloween-y in some way. So that starts tomorrow. So tomorrow we can start doing that. And I've been um, thinking about like what movies I wanna pick. Cause there's, it's me and my husband and our roommate, right? So of course I have to pick out uh, a chunk of the movies too. They're really the huge horror movie fans, so they'll pick more of the movies than I will, but I still have to pick some, right? I still have to pick some. At least like probably six or seven movies or something like that. So I've been thinking about like, what do I want to see that's a horror movie now? So easy on you next time. Or what do I think I can convince them of being like Halloween adjacent? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I think I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna convince them that Labyrinth is a good one to watch. Um, I floated the idea I'll be right back. by my husband and uh, he seemed, he seemed to like that idea. Watch The Conjuring. Brie, you love The Conjuring. You love The Conjuring so much. It's like your favorite movie. I mean, I, I don't dislike them. I just, I, I so just, you, you just love it so much. <laughs> I've never met somebody that's like, uh, The Conjuring was their favorite movies. You know what I mean? I think we're probably going to watch Paranormal Activity. I really like the first one. And I think it's the third one of that one's the other one I really like, um, where they have, where they put the camera on the so spinning on fan and it's like, you know, it'll pan across the room like that. I really, really like that one. Um, missing that one house. I think that's the third one. It's really good. It's literally my favorite film of all time. I know, I know, Brie. It's and I feel like it's been like that for years. Uh, Vera Farmiga gave me gave me my rights. <laughs> I'm so glad she was able to do that for you. <laughs> okay, um, yay. Okay, another Tonberry. Let's get him. I think this is our last Tonberry. But I'll probably try to kill one more just to be sure. Oh, don't Karma Kimari. Karma, 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 Kimari. Don't do it. Tom Berry. Oh, I already had enough Tom Berries. Okay. Like so I'm really that? just looking more for one more Valaha and some ghosts. Mars needs moms. What is, what's that, Kendra? What's Mars needs moms? I, I don't know that movie. Or Escape from Witch Mountain. Oh, Escape from Witch Mountain, that's a good idea. I like that idea. Um, Watchback of Sixth Sense. Oh, Sixth Sense is great. That movie was so good when it came out. I've, I'm scared it probably hasn't aged well, but I really did like it when it came out. Okay, Ghost... FFX... Location. I want to see if there's like a certain place in the Cavern of Stolen Faith that they might be. Sixth Sense still hits for you. It's been, I think I haven't really watched that movie since it came out. Oh, here we go. Somebody asking the same question. Some more specific to catch ghosts. It appears where Tonberries do. Okay. So apparently it's they're in that same room. They're just a bit more rare. So when you go to the last, oh, well this person says when you go to the last save point, then go left at the intersection, then go down just before the next intersection, that's where I fought mine. Okay. But did they mean that back save point? But then their directions don't make sense. Go so easy on you next time. Hmm. I don't think they know what they're talking about. I think it probably is in that big room with the Tonberries. Like that other person said. Oh, but there's one. I feel like I'm getting them around here. Maybe I'll just run around here around this save point. Oh, come here, ladies. Oh, not Waka. You're not a lady, Waka. Oh my god. Gotcha covered. No, you don't. I need 
somebody would censor. Um, or the haunting, oh, the haunted mansion, Night Before Christmas. Yes, Night Before Christmas um, is definitely in my head as something maybe, it, we'll have to see, like, we have to have a balance, right? We have to have a balance between actually scary movies and just Halloween adjacent movies. So um, I can't pick too many of them that are like that. Okay, so water and fire, okay. All right. Um, well, let's bring Waka in. All right, and then bring in Titus. Got you covered. Got you covered. That's right. And then I guess Riku. She would be fine. If you say so. All right, let's steal. I'm ready for snow. We don't get snow here, Jane. So, I mean, maybe like once every four or five years, we might get like a couple days of snow. Okay, so I'm reading all of you. Night Before Christmas, definitely going to recommend that. Um, Haunted Mansion, that's that's one I can definitely recommend. Escape from Witch Mountain, that's a good one. Let's see. Kendra needs to look up Velocipaster. <laughs> yes, Kendra, please watch Velocipaster. Please, 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 you will love it. <laughs> Drag Me to Hell. Oh, I see that up there, Kitty. Yes, Drag Me to Hell is a good movie. Uh, let's see, what else? Okay, I think I read all of your suggestions. If I missed one, tell me again. Because it was unintentional. Kitty, no, I'm so scared. Kendra, don't be scared of the Velocipaster. He just wants to save your soul. It's good for you. I think you would enjoy it. I'm with Kitty on this one. Oh no! Don't kill me! It's gonna kill me! I wasn't paying attention! No! It's gonna kill me! It killed me! I got a game over! I thought I was on Titus and I was gonna flee. Okay, well let's see what kind of let's see what we still have to capture. How bad we did. I feel like I saved kind of recently. So I might have to finish up monster capturing in this area off stream. Hereditary is a wild movie. Yes, hereditary is wild. 744. Okay, I think we only lost let's see. I think we only lost like 10 minutes, but I also lost count, so here's what we'll do. Let's go back to the airship. Let's go to Calm Lands and see what I still have left to catch so I can update my notes of what I still have left. And I'll do the rest of um, the Cavern of Stolen Faith off stream. But I will finish capturing it. I just won't record it. There's only a few more that I still have. And um, we'll spend the last half hour of the stream going and capturing in Mount Gagazet. Uh, yes, let me ride one. Silver hourglasses. No, I'm good. Not right now. Okay. Yep, I know. Alright, let's see. Mm, I've got ten of those. Did I not? Okay. Let's see. Cavern of the Stolen Faith. Alright, so I need one more of Alaha. So I need, okay, so I just lost, I just lost a ghost, that's all I lost. I lost one ghost, I think that was it. Let's see in Mount Gagazette what I've got. Yeah, that's right. That's, um, nope, that's not right for the grenades. Um, let's see, that's right for that. Not right. My notes are all wrong, guys. <laughs> uh, male Sprite, I've only got two of those. Yep, that's right. Araman's, only got one of those. Okay, Grendel, 
only got one of those. Yep. Dark Flan, I've only got one of those. Mandragora, I've only got two of those. Yep, that's right. And Behemoth, only three of those. Okay, so that's all correct. All right, let's get back on the airship. The final showdown was Shane. Mommy so made it out of DNA. <laughs> Why does that sound like a line um, Eliza would say as well? <laughs> <laughs> because that's who just said it. Oh, I thought you were referencing one of the movies you were talking about. <laughs> but you're just talking about Eliza. <laughs> but she would say something like that. Okay, we're just going to run up here. We're going to do this, do some entrance part of Mount Gagazette up here. We need more Bandersnatches, Grenades, and Bashuras. And those should be up here. Eliza Stefanov comes into the kitchen. Mommy. <laughs> She's a horror movie kid. Yeah, of course she is. Okay, we do need both of those grenades, so that's good. And that'll get us finished with those. Alright, we'll all just take out the imp. Yes, I know capture limit is reached. That's fine. Story bots? What's story bots? Is that like another kid show thing? That Eliza's into? I didn't mean to heal him. I'm gonna do the last hit with Orin to make sure that it's it's good and we'll kill him. Enough. That's how it's done. Mmm. No worries, Brie. I'll promise. I promise that I'll make the rest of the stream really boring, so you don't feel like you missed anything. <laughs> yes, your hair looks beautiful. I don't know if you were in the stream when we were talking about it, but Jane prompted me to go look at the picture, and um, the dye, dye job looks really good. All right, we don't need the rest of these actually. Live and let live. We just needed the Bandersnatch. I'll just have fun in the Discord. Understood. <laughs> Alright, bye Brie. Have a good rest of your night. Okay, I don't think I need any of these. Yeah, I don't need any of these. We can so run away. Next time. I have to run farther up to get more Bandersnatches. Live and let live. Yeah, I think we'll just we'll just travel up here to the next save point and get any Bandersnatches and Bashuras along the way, because that's what we need that's from this area. We don't need any imps or grenades or any of those little seed-spitting annoying things. We're good with those. It's mostly the Bandersnatches and Bashuras that we need. There we go. There's a Bashura, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, but let's kill this guy first. Oh, Titus doesn't do any damage to it, that's right. Mm, let's do... Power Break. You guys are so annoying. I'm gonna kill them before they do that. One thing that causes the confusion. It's over. Yeah, it's over. I can't believe out of this little area the thing that I've still not gotten really is the, the Bandersnatch, is little dogs. Like, those should be super common, you know? Oh, there's one. <laughs> Oh yeah. Let's get Riku in here to dismantle that thing so it doesn't attack Riku's us. Back. That's right. Thanks, Riku. Alright. 
then we can just circle back around to Titus, and let's run away. I won't go so easy on you next time. If you say so. Come on, Waka. Yes, I know capture limit is reached. Alright, why don't you just go ahead and attack this guy? There we go. And we'll do a power break on him. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Kendra. Oh no, now Orin's confused. Oh, that's annoying. Let's fix that. There we go. Nope, let's bring Titus back. You don't need to whack him with your staff, Yuna. That won't do much. We know this. Goodbye. Okay, I think I only need one more Bashura. Maybe two more? I think it's just one more. Do you remember coming up here when we were in doing the story and like how quiet and kind of sad it all was? Oh, let's do his overdrive. Like how solemn it was, everybody that died up here. And now we're just like wrecking it so easily. Let's bring him back. Oh, I meant to do life, not pray. Oops. Oh well. Now I'll do life. Goodbye. I think that's the last Bashura. Maybe we need one more. It's Dro Feels. Almost, Jane. F E E L S. I had to stare at that for a moment trying to figure out why it didn't work. <laughs> Dro Fells must not be an account that's ever streamed. If you say so. Karen doesn't have an uwu roar because she knows I'd make her say uwu constantly. <laughs> uh. Probably you would, but I'm supposed to have the sound alerts for that. I don't know why they're not working. Um, it's very annoying because unfortunately those sound alerts, you can't test them off stream. Like if I try to test them when I'm not live, it'll say like you have to be live I'll for be this right to back. do anything. So I'm like, Ooh, okay. So I think I, I'll think I fixed it, but then, you know, try the real thing and it's totally not fixed. Very frustrating. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you can put one on your stream. If you like. Oh, we don't want to attack. We want to just steal. That should be um, Kendra's first channel point redeem. Oh, thank you so much for the raid, App. Welcome, welcome. Somebody give um, App a shout out, please. Uh, App's awesome. He's a member of Elixir. If someone could also type um, exclamation Elixir. For me please so that everybody can see um elixir is a twitch streaming like um networking server that i'm in it's great really really friendly people really nice really cool um oh x4 foundations how was x4 did you win 
Oh, I don't know why exclamation elixir is supposed to... Oh, there it goes. It did work. I thought for a second it wasn't going to work. Um, but yes, thank you guys, thank you guys. <laughs> no worries. Well, thank you so much for the raid app. I really appreciate it. And yeah, you guys should all go drop app a follow. For whatever reason, he's typically not streaming towards the end of my stream, so I don't think I've ever actually raided app, um, funny enough. He usually streams at much, uh, much different times than, uh, than ones towards the end of my streams. Gosh, I'm never gonna find more Bandersnatches. I still need four. It's crazy. Live and let live. And I guess if a Bashura pops up, that's fine too. Yeah, I don't need none of this. I don't need none of this. Well, welcome in, Raiders. How's everybody doing this fine uh, Friday Eve? I hope everybody had a really good day, and um, I hope that your tomorrow is even better. Fridays are always very good for me. <laughs> uh, best day of the week. Best day of the week. You know, it's very exciting. And Fridays are also very chill when it comes to working. I don't know if that's true for you guys, but that's pretty true for me. Oh, okay, so here we go. Let's um, bring in Orin, and let's do a power break. Oh, C is the Bashura, okay. New people to give Halloween movie wrecks. Oh yeah, yeah, if you guys have good um, horror or Halloween-y um, movie wrecks, I would love to hear them. Um, shout them out, let me know. Because we do a, a thing at my house where we watch a Halloween or horror movie every single day in October. This guy is like Sully from Monsters, Inc., but after radiation. <laughs> oh my god, you're so right, Jane, he so is. Oh my god, and he hits about as hard as that would be, too. They're very annoying when you're, like, you know, at that right level for them. Alright. This is definitely going to be the last Bashura I need. So then I'll just need Bandersnatches from this area. Oh, nope, I didn't need that one. Okay, so I was right before. That other one was my last one. Alright, I just need the little doggies. My own little doggies. Bad would smash though. Oh yeah, would absolutely smash. 100%. Um, I guess I'll just run away. I will go so easy on you next time. Okay, let's save. Yes, that's fine. All right, if we go up there. We're not going to be where the Bandersnatches are anymore. So now we got to run back down. I just don't know why they're not spawning. I would think like that would be a super common enemy, but I guess for whatever reason in this little area, the little doggies are not common. Even though everywhere else that spawns those dogs, they're very common. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to teleport back down to the bottom. and then run around that entrance there. Live and let live. Yeah. Take me back down the mountain. You know, it would have been nice if these little teleporters existed when I was very first walking up this mountain. It's almost like the game installed them just for me. Installed them just for me after I made the trek up so that I wouldn't have to do that again. But apparently they've had the technology for summoners to not have to make this treacherous journey up the mountain all along, and they're just, they just weren't sharing it. So that's very rude. That's very rude of the Ronso to be doing that with their mountain. 
hiding their little teleportation um, ability. You know, I didn't know they had the the ability to set up those teleportation glyphs like they've got in the temples and things, you know? If I had known that, it would have changed some stuff. Live and let live. I feel like if I'm around the entrance, like, there's gotta be. Like, some of those doggies have to spawn. But apparently they don't. They disagree with me. Everything else will spawn. <laughs> But those little dogs. Oh no, Yuna died. Oh, we're gonna run away. Alright, Yuna, why don't you heal yourself? Yeah, we can pray, that's fine. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Maybe it was like kind of part way up that I was finding some, because I was finding some of the bander snatches. Maybe it was like around here. No, we're just getting more of Ashuras. I must just have a bad seed. So the way that this works, this game works, by the way, about how it decides the RNG, the level of RNG that you're going to get and um, things like that. Like it has certain things that are considered common and certain things that are considered more rare, right? Like, of course it does. But there's also every time you load up the game uh, from a new from another save, it uh, it kind of re-rolls certain things so that maybe you have a particularly lucky one where more of the um, rare ones come up or maybe like it ends up cr causing, like in this case, I guess, the Bandersnatches to be rare, even though typically they aren't. So it's possible also that I just have a bad seed roll right now and that restarting the game would fix it. Like they're a bad one for finding Bandersnatches anyway. Because I'm finding a lot of these little Albed things. They are everywhere. And a lot of this group right here. Of the Nats and um, Ashuras. Live and let live. So if you're playing this game and you're like running around in a place where you know people have told you a certain thing spawns. Because a lot of this is pretty well documented. Then um, it's possible you just need to save, exit the game and open it back up and reload your save to kind of re-roll that. Live and let live. I'll be right back. Sure you will, Titus. Sure you will. Alright, we're gonna go step on that glyph. And let's see where else, let's see where we can teleport to. Let's see, we've got mountain trail, cave entrance, cave exit. I guess this is like the end of the trail. Let's go up there. Yeah, that's where that is. All right, let's run around by this save point. I don't remember seeing any bandersnatches when we were here earlier, but who knows? Maybe we can find some. Cause I didn't run around this little strip for very long. If y'all remember right up there is where we fought Seymour. And I had to fight him three times <laughs> to destroy him. <laughs> so we had to watch that cutscene like three times. That won't go so easy on you next time. And I think I told y'all this when we fought him, but when I was a kid, I got to the point where I had memorized that cutscene because it just took me so freaking long to figure out how to beat. Seymour <laughs> for that fight. It was like the first actually kind of hard boss fight uh, that I remember as a kid. And oh my god, it wrecked me. It wrecked me so good. Live and, let live. and you still can't skip cutscenes even in this version of the game, so we had to watch it a bunch still in 2021. <laughs> Go so easy on you next time. 
Okay, yeah, I think we just have, I think we have a bad seed for getting Bandersnatches. I mean, that's fine. We'll do monster, more monster hunting next um, stream, but... Oh, wait, there's one. But I'm thinking next stream we're probably going to focus more on the Blitzball. So we'll do mostly Blitzball and a little bit of monster hunting instead of, you know, like this stream where we did uh, a little bit of Blitzball and mostly monster hunting, right? So I think that's how we're going to do it. Um, yeah, cure Titus, because he's going to have to be the one that runs. Oh, good job dodging. Nope, let's flee. Live and let live. Okay, well, there's another Bandersnatch. We still need three more. So maybe, like, right around here is the ticket. Maybe that's like the better area for them in the seed. I'll be right back. Come on, get it over with. Do all your animations. I'm just gonna run away. So I don't know why you're bothering trying to attack me. I'm just gonna flee. Because I don't want to deal with your nonsense. Same thing again. Well, I feel like I'm having better- I had better luck- oh, yeah, definitely having better luck in this part of the mountain than instead of the front part of the mountain for the Bandersnatches, so that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Aw, couldn't kill him. I tried. Alright, let's flee. Okay, come on, two more, two more puppy dogs. Two more puppy dogs and I can be done capturing in this area. You think I can do it in 10 minutes, guys? <laughs> I feel like I should be able to. There we go. Almost. Just one more game. Come on, give me one more. I'll be right back. use this opportunity to cure her. I'll be right back. All right, is this next spawn going to be a puppy? Riri, help me channel puppy energy. Help me channel puppy energy. Nope. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Channel that puppy dog energy. I just need the one more. And then we can go to other parts of the mountain. I'll be right back. I like this rhythm we have. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Good job. Thank you, Jane. You did it.
Jeez, they wrecked me. Alright, well, here we go. Bring Titus back. And goodbye, Bandersnatch. Oh, I didn't need that last one. Whatever. Well, at least I know for sure now. Alright, let's secure a Yuna. Oh my god, don't kill her. Thank god. Okay. That was almost a game over right there. Let's go ahead and flee. Goodbye. Right we will not be back. Okay. Uh, come on, Yuna. Let's get everybody good. Okay. And let's actually run back down to this glyph. Because we're going to teleport to another I'll part of the mountain. Yep, we'll go to the gate. And let's go to the cave entrance. I think that's going to put me where I want to be. Yes, okay, perfect. All right. I think? No. Oh, but I do need... I think I need both of those? Yeah. Alright, come here, Waka. Yeah, Aramins. And Grendel's. Oh yeah, we need to armor break him. That did not do enough damage. There we go. Now he can die. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Told ya. If you say so, Titus. All right, let's actually go back to the save point. Let's do this. We have built up a lot of um, sphere levels. Oh no. We're gonna run. We do need him, but we're gonna run. Because I wanna go do my sphere grid, I think, before we end the stream. This is towards the end, so let's let's close out with some sphere grid leveling up, and then we'll go find somebody to raid. Alright, so Titus, you got lots of levels. Where do we want to go? I think I was backtracking with him. What's the zoom out button? I forgot. There we go. Yeah, I was backtracking with him. What is this? This is a level 3 down here? I think I need to get to the level 2. Because I can break that open. Yeah, that totally works. Yes! And let's unlock that. Yes, I have plenty of level 2 key spheres. Nope, I want to use... Alright, let's zoom back in. What are these? Oh, these are... Oh, this is taking him through Yuna's area so he can heal. Oh, prey. Oh, that would be useful, having more people with prey. Let's take him this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Waka, what direction are you going? What's up here? This is mental break. Oh, that's that way. Okay. Well let's take you let's take you back this way. Okay. 
Oh my god, did a foot mask a few days ago and thought it was a dud? What's a foot mask? Does that, like, help with calluses on your feet or something? Tonight I take my house shoe off and bam, it was not a dud. What does a foot mask do? What does it do for you, Kendra? I have not heard of this. I'm, un I'm unfamiliar with the ways of the foot mask. It peels your skin off after a day or two. I love foot mask and oh my gosh, peels dead skin. I, you know, I've tried to use like face masks and things like that, but I feel like they just they just make me break out. Um, and I really don't break out a lot. Like I don't get a huge amount of zits or things like that. But something about like like face masks and facials and stuff like that will make me break out. I don't know what's what's up with that. I wonder how a foot mask would feel. I don't know. I have very sensitive feet, like really stupidly ticklish, like annoying sensitive feet like um it's very easy for me to accidentally hurt my feet is what i'm trying to say <laughs> um so yeah <laughs> what's this up here oh copycat yes we definitely want to use that get that skill And I think that's her last, that's her last skill. So we can move her down here. Well, I guess we'll take her through Lulu's, that's fine. What's over here? Oh gosh, there's like four level four key spheres to unlock that. Do I have that many? Nope, I just used my last one, okay. That's fine. I'll get more later. Or not, we'll see. You don't really need to, like, complete the sphere grid or anything to do most things in this game. Well, there, she finally got holy. My poor Yuna. My poor Yuna ended up so under-leveled. <laughs> uh, okay, and I don't have any level 3 key spheres, so... I can't really just take her there. We gotta take her back somewhere. Oh, there's a level 2. So she can go there. So she can backtrack. All right, Kamari. You can come here. Okay, and that's Sphere Grid. All right, let's go ahead and save. All right, so next episode, um, we're going to focus more on Blitzball. So we'll do mostly Blitzball and a little bit of monster capturing. We still have quite a lot of monster capturing to do in Mount Gagazette area, especially this cave area and the after the cave area. Um, we can find a lot of these monsters in Xanarkand as well. And we still have a couple of the monsters in um, in Cavern of the Stolen Faith to get. I know I said I'd do them off stream, but I don't know if I will or not. We'll really, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I might do them off stream. I might do them on stream. But definitely next stream, we're going to be focusing more on Blitzball, less on the monster capturing, because we're, we're getting pretty close to done with that, and we really need to make some Blitzball progress at this point. Okay, so game is saved. Let's go ahead. Let's exit that. Yes, I would like to quit the game. And close out of there. Okay, guys, I'm going to open up Twitch. Let's find somebody to raid. Feels nice. Um, super nice booties stick your feet in. Feels nice when you wear them. I see. I don't know. I'm very skeptical. I'm very skeptical. Okay, guys. So it looks like um, Madam MG is live right now, and we haven't raided her in a while. Oh, Oh, in this title, she's making a haunted dollhouse right now. She's doing a crafting stream and she's making a haunting, haunted dollhouse. Okay, this is who we're raiding. This is definitely who we're raiding. Here we go. There we go. All right, guys. So um, I will see you guys next week for more Final Fantasy X. Also on Saturday, um, we are going back to Sims 2. No topic or anything. We're just going to play more of the Sims 2 Legacy because um, Landon has some personal stuff that she's handling next Saturday. And we just had a community day. So that's what we're going to be doing, more Sims 2. So get ready to see what's going on with um, single mom Landon uh, on Saturday. Okay, guys, I will see you soon. Okay, don't forget to make it a great day.